Hello everyone and welcome to the 99th Hammer tutorial. This tutorial we're going to be going over creating your map and texturing it so that way it looks convincing and you can use the textures properly in your map. So I'm just going to start off and I'm going to create a quick little thing here. Now when you are creating your map, this should already be standard practice, but you need to stay on the grid. If you stay on the grid, then your experience will be much, much friendlier um, when texturing. So I use 16. 16 is a pretty good grid size to block out buildings and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a quick little corner of a building here. Alright, and some ground. Now we're going to go ahead and browse for texture. I'm going to use the face edit sheet, and so will you. To bring that up, you can either click this icon here, or shift A opens it up. Hotkeys are your friend. I'm going to go and search for a wall. And there's a certain wall texture I'm looking for, because it shows the best example. Alright, so here we go. We have brick wall 045, A, B, C, D, F, I, J, and K. Now, if you'll notice, these all look the same. It's because they go in the same texture set. So I can grab this brick wall here. I can apply it to the bottom there. I can grab this top one. Because it has the bit at the top. That's how you know it's for the top. I can grab that one and place it there. So now we have a complete wall that uses three textures that seamlessly go together. Now, there's a little bit more to texture creation I mean, to texture usage than just slap them on there with a the face edit sheet. There's a lot more that we can do. So, the next thing that we're going to go over is... So, next thing that we're going to do is wrapping alignment and other things like that. Now, also, with this part, we can... If we use the clipping tool, we can clip this brush out. So now you see how this bit is just by itself. You can change that part because there's more parts to this texture. Say I want that one broken. Boom, now it's broken. Easy peasy. So now we're going to go into something a little more advanced. I'm going to put a rounded corner in here. So to do that, I'm going to use the cylinder prefab. It's going to have 24 sides. I'm just going to create that right there. And I'm going to trim it so it becomes what I want it to be, which is just the corner piece. Now, some maps will actually have this, and you may see it a lot. So, I'm going to chop it in three bits again. And most Source Engine games use 128 sized walls. So that's what I've been chopping these up into, if you're wondering. Now, let's say I grab this texture and I just, you know, chop, throw it on here. It's really big. Okay. So you may notice that it doesn't always, doesn't fit perfectly. So we can wrap it. So if you hold the Alt key and then you right click on it, you see it moved a little bit. Then hold the, select this texture, Alt, right click. Now what you'll see it's doing is it's aligning the texture perfectly with the one next to it. So it's very important that when you do this, you go all the way down the line. This is most noticeable in more things that aren't brick, like if I had this window, you'll see that there's some choppiness going on here, but never fear, you just wrap it, boom, 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 and you're good to go. So that's what the wrapping does. You're going to use wrapping a lot. I almost can't even think of a time when you won't hold the Alt key applying a texture. Now, that went much easier than if you were trying to apply it manually, as I'm sure you could imagine that would have been a nightmare to do. So we have one last thing to go over, and that's justification. So let's say you have a wall right there, and you just, you know, throw the brush on it. That doesn't look very good, because the window's cut off. Instead of manually justifying it, that, that's silly. You can use justify left, right, top, bottom, and center. So if you just click one of these, it'll align it to that side of the brush. And let's see, I make this bigger, just a little bit bigger. 
but I still only want the two windows in there. If I click fit, it'll stretch the texture to fit it perfectly. So that way it meets the brush size. Now you can also use center, bottom, top to justify your brushes. It makes it a whole lot easier. Now there's also texture locking. These are often overlooked a lot. So I'm going to uncheck texture lock here and you'll see what happens. I move this brush, if you'll notice the texture is not locked to the brush when I move it as the texture keeps moving around. So if I want this to stop, all I have to do is turn on texture lock. It's on by default and now when I move this brush, the texture goes with it. I'm just going to refit it. And now here's scaling texture lock. It's the TL with the two arrows on it. If you click that, when you move the brush around, still nothing changes. But let's say you stretch the brush. It doesn't automatically resize it. Whereas when you have that off, it just keeps tiling it. So it re it resizes, I'm sorry, when you have texture lock when you have scaling texture lock on. So you can also use that to try to get materials to look the way you want them to look. So I hope this tutorial helped you uh, create textures on brushes and make things look more realistic. The, the, the three texture set is in every Valve game, Portal 2, Team Fortress 2, it's in all of them. So you'll start to see the textures kind of meet up and make sense together. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.